A new competitor has just entered the space launch market. Sierra Space has announced that its new space plane called the Dream Chaser Tenacity is finally ready for testing after years of development. But how does this craft differ from the competition? Let's take a closer look at Dream Chaser and how it could become the preferred craft for orbital travel in the coming years. The CEO of Sierra Space expressed excitement, noting that going into the ocean is not enjoyable, but landing on a runway is a pleasant experience. This sentiment resonates with many, and now it could become a reality for space travelers. Sierra Space's impressive accomplishment, the Dream Chaser, is close to turning this dream into a reality after more than a decade of development and overcoming various challenges. Dream Chaser stands as a revolutionary breakthrough in space technology, earning the distinction of being the world's sole commercial space plane with the capability to land on runways. With substantial backing from NASA, including a significant contract for International Space Station resupply missions, Dream Chaser has undergone meticulous planning, technical expertise and rigorous testing over decades. The completion of the first test article marks a significant milestone for Sierra Space, bringing Dream Chaser closer to its highly anticipated maiden flight scheduled for April next year. On May 31, 2023, the company achieved a groundbreaking milestone by successfully powering up the space plane within their assembly facility. This accomplishment included providing electrical power to the vehicle, a function usually performed by its solar panels in space. The team activated flight computers and other crucial components, signifying a noteworthy achievement in the development process. Tom Weiss, the chief executive of Sierra Space, underscored the significance of this achievement, describing it as a pivotal moment in Dream Chase's extensive journey. He expressed his excitement, emphasizing the importance of this test in advancing the development of the space plane. Looking forward, the company is preparing for the next phase of testing. The initial Dream Chaser, named Tenacity, is set to be transported to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, formerly known as Plum Brook Station. Over the next two to three months, engineers will undertake rigorous tests to assess the space plane's resilience. These tests will encompass evaluating its capacity to endure the intense vibrations and acoustics encountered during a rocket launch, as well as the extreme temperatures it will face during flight. Before its final launch preparations at Cape Canaveral, the space plane will go through a crucial testing phase inside a massive thermal vacuum chamber. While Sierra Space has not provided a specific timeline for these milestones, Jenna Cavandi, the president of Sierra Space, shared some details during a panel discussion at the 38th Space Symposium in April. According to Cavandi, Dream Chaser is set to be transported to the test facility in July. There, the vehicle will undergo rigorous testing for several months before being shipped to Florida for the final launch preparations. Cavandi expressed confidence, aiming to be fully prepared for launch by the end of the year. Physically, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft, designed for orbital missions, is making significant progress. Its unique features include folding wings and a fuselage covered with custom tiles. These tiles are specifically designed to shield the spacecraft's composite structure from the intense heat it will encounter during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The spacecraft is also equipped with a landing section and technicians are diligently working on the finishing touches before it departs the factory. Within the spacecraft, workers are currently installing the final components, including pipes for the environmental control system. This system is crucial as it plays a vital role 
in maintaining a pressurized and controlled environment inside Dream Chaser, ensuring the safety and comfort of astronauts during their missions to and from the International Space Station. Dream Chaser is slated to play a crucial role in transporting cargo to and from the research complex orbiting Earth, positioned approximately 385 kilometers away. The operational process is meticulously planned. The spacecraft launches atop a conventional rocket, maneuvers in space similar to a satellite, and then gracefully lands on a runway facing the production floor. To ensure seamless operations, Sierra Space has established a dedicated mission control room. In this high-tech space, engineers attentively monitor and command the spacecraft while it is in orbit. At the end of the hallway, there's a mock-up model of Dream Chaser. This realistic representation serves as a training ground for astronauts, allowing them to learn how to board the spacecraft and efficiently handle tasks, such as packing and unpacking cargo when it docks at the station. We're wrapping up the final stages of preparation, said Angie Wise, Sierra Space's Chief Safety Officer. We're finishing the installation of close-out panels, essentially getting it ready for transport. After conducting thorough checks on the landing gear, we're now in the process of stowing everything and moving it to the transport fixture for its departure from here. In adherence to rigorous safety protocols, NASA engineers are carefully reviewing Sierra Space's data products. Collaboratively, government and contractor teams are conducting extensive tests to ensure the safe approach of Dream Chaser to the space station, currently hosting seven astronauts. Wise emphasized that Sierra Space has entered phase three of NASA's three-part safety review process, highlighting their unwavering commitment to safety and precision. Hey spacers, before you look into booking a flight aboard Dream Chaser, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the world of space travel. And now, back to the dream. Dream Chaser is an exceptional spacecraft with a captivating narrative, embodying a vision for the future of space travel that draws inspiration from the early days of the space age. It seamlessly integrates elements from both rockets and airplanes, resulting in Dream Chaser tenacity, possessing distinctive features that set it apart from traditional spacecraft. Notably, Dream Chaser tenacity stands out for its compact size, measuring 30 feet in length. This compact design reflects a commitment to efficiency without compromising functionality. One of its standout features is the inclusion of folding wings, adding to its adaptability. These wings enable Dream Chasers to be stowed inside a 5-meter payload fairing during launch, reducing ascent loads and providing protection against debris. This innovative design significantly enhances the space plane's flexibility and versatility. The space plane features a lifting body design, a success demonstrated during a test flight over the California desert. This design allows for autonomous deployment of landing gear and precise touchdowns on runways, showcasing Dream Chaser's adaptability. Complementing its capabilities is the addition of the Shooting Star cargo module, underscoring Sierra Space's dedication to efficient cargo transport. This flexible 15-ton module attaches to the Dream Chaser space plane, augmenting its cargo carrying capacity and broadening its usability for various mission profiles. With the assistance of Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to lower orbits, highlighting its versatility and contribution to future space logistics. Moreover, the Dream Chaser tenacity is equipped with a state-of-the-art heat shield, marking a substantial advancement from the Space Shuttle program. 
Sierra Space Engineers have employed modern manufacturing techniques to enhance the strength and reduce the cost of thousands of thermal protection system tiles. These tiles, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, are not only larger but also stronger and lighter than their shuttle counterparts. The utilization of innovative materials and manufacturing methods aims to improve reliability and ease of refurbishment, addressing challenges encountered during the shuttle era. This commitment to technological advancement in the heat shield ensures safe entry, descent and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions aboard Dreamchaser Tenacity. While the current focus in the commercial space flight industry revolves around developing fully reusable rockets, space planes present unique advantages, particularly in their ability to smoothly land upon re-entry to Earth. These advantages include improved safety, operational flexibility, efficiency and the potential for future commercial opportunities. Dream Chaser Tenacity is poised for its debut flight, scheduled to launch atop ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket, an important milestone. However, the launch timeline hinges on the success of Vulcan's first test flight, slated for December. The Dream Chaser team closely monitors these developments, with an April launch targeted if all goes according to plan. Looking ahead, Sierra Space envisions crewed Dream Chaser missions to its space station, potentially reshaping the landscape of space transportation. It remains to be seen if Dream Chaser's revolutionary design will attract customers once it is ready. What do you think, spacers? Would you prefer going to space aboard a rocket like the Starship, or does Dream Chaser sound like a better option? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.